Hey everybody, I'm Axel, the Wondrous Writing Witch. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all having a wonderful week so far. Today, we are talking about my favorite men in fiction. I did this list a couple of months ago for women, and I forgot to do the opposite, and it was kind of a pain in the ass to make this list because men are not as easy to praise. Even the fictional ones, just the majority kind of suck. I'm not sorry. Fix your male protagonists. Okay, fix them. And I'll have more for this list. Please and thank you. As always, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments about your favorites. And if you could please do all the other things to please the algorithm gods, I would be vastly appreciative. Otherwise, on to today's list. start off this list, I want to mention Harry Blackstone Copperfield Dresden. Now I know he is not the most likable protagonist, especially when the series starts, um, but he grows up and though he is still a little bit of a douche, um, I think he's written that way on purpose. So I'm not quite sure he's intended to be this like super likable, you know, man that everyone should swoon over. I think he's deliberately meant to kind of be a bit of a dick. So, conflicting? Yes. Still here for the ride? Yes. Coming in at number four is Wyatt. Just Wyatt. Now I love this man, all right? This is one of the few that I can just heavily praise up the wazoo because the way he goes out of his way to try and help people despite, you know, any kind of consequence to himself is just amazing. He is just a sweet cinnamon roll who is trying to share all the information and all the resources that he has at his disposal, and I fucking love it. And he's great with animals, all right? A man that's great with animals, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. I live for it. I eat it up like cheese. Give me more. Number three is Geralt of Rivia. Even before Henry Cavill made him the sexiest beast on Netflix, I really enjoyed the Witcher games and just kind of going along this journey of people absolutely hating this man for just existing, even though he's saving all these people. It takes a tremendous amount for people to show him the bare minimum of respect. And I don't know why his journey is just so appealing, but it is. The fact that he's just gonna keep doing what he does best, slaying monsters and taking shit, despite all the shit he has to take, it's just, it's admirable. Coming in at number two is Ivan Gerhardt, aka Pseudonym, aka Fornax. I absolutely live for this guy. Normally I do not like mentor characters too much because they're simply there to show the main character what to do and then die. But Ivan Gerhardt has his own character arc, has his own problems. The whole thing just, he feels like his own character. He is not simply the mentor, he is Ivan Gerhardt, aka pseudonym, aka Fornax. He is so flushed out and I love him so much, okay? I am tired of the old man mentors nine times out of ten, but this one did it spectacularly. Given he is old, but he doesn't seem old because of his abilities, it's still not the same as your traditional mentorship role, and I appreciate it. It's a villainous mentorship role, and he is his own person with his own struggles and things to do other than try and get the protagonist where they need to go. And I super appreciate how it was written. I just think that all mentors should be written in such a manner. Please do not write your mentor to just die. It's, it's exhausting. Coming in at number one is Edward Elric from the Fullmetal Alchemist. I think his arc is just so inspiring. Um, I know that none of us could necessarily go through the same journey of attempting to bring back a parent and then losing our brother and our arm and our leg. However, I do think that a lot of us have lost somebody that we would risk anything to get back. And I think that's a powerful message. And I think the fact that 
I guess the message really at the end is that all you can do is move forward, is keep moving forward. It, it's just, it's such an emotional gut punch and it's inspiring and devastating all at once. The Edward that we end with is not the same child that we started with. He has learned and grown and I really wish we got more. I think we were a little robbed. I loved how it ended, but also hated it because I really feel like we were robbed. I have so many questions still left unanswered. And so that is not his fault, but it's the writer's fault and I'm sorry. Um, but in my head, since we are left with so many answers, we are left to fill some answers. So in my head, I think he grows up to be a wonderful partner, still a kick-ass brother, and just an all-around respectable, respectful young man. I think that the future that Edward helped build for Amestris with Mustang and all of them was just so wild. And it's, oh, there's so many questions I have left unanswered. But with that being said, I still think that he is one of the best protagonists that I have seen or read in general. And well, that's all I've got for you guys today. Those are five of my favorite men in fiction. As always, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments below. And until next week, spread all the love and joy you can. Bye.